This $9 million sci-fi comedy from director Jod Banham opened at number one in May of 1986, grossing over $40 million at the domestic box office. Feeling like a live-action precursor to Pixar's WALL-E, this PG adventure stars Alan Sheedy as an animal hoarder from Oregon who accidentally discovers a wayward and malfunctioning robot, who she amusingly mistakes for an extraterrestrial, recently infused with sentience following a freak lightning strike. Originally designed for deadly combat, the transform metallic hero simply known as Number 5 is voiced and puppeteered by Tim Blainley and is constantly inquisitive, always requesting more input, while he narrowly avoids trouble from the military men hunting him down. While Sheedy's acting is honestly pretty hammy, Steve Gutenberg's portrayal of the scientist who built the robot isn't much better either, constantly mugging for the camera without conveying any real sense of believability. Joining them is Fisher Stevens as an Indian tech assistant whose frequent malapropisms are more excessive than funny, and G.W. Bailey as the one-dimensional army captain whose obnoxious demeanor is an uninspired copy of the same character he perfected in the Police Academy series. Mixing childish humor, random parodies, and robot imitations with more adult themes and language, this picture's tone is occasionally inconsistent. When it settles down and David Shire's whimsical score kicks in, the scenes with number 5 are cute and entertaining, like when the machine begins inadvertently ransacking an apartment while exploring and identifying all of its belongings. Pasta, yeah, semolina, spaghetti, That's food, very good. liquid, spaghetti sauce. Hey, look, this may be hilarious where you come from, but on this planet, it's considered rude. Ooh, plant, fruit, oranges, apples, lemons, thyme. Oh, that's... That's great, thanks a lot. Fabric, tablecloth. No, no, not my dishes. Okay, oh God. Breakfast table, American contemporary. No, no. Oh, oh, my china. Numerous fragments. Okay, some fine. Some large, you, you some small. Eventually turning into a philosophical discussion on the merits of humanity, Shitty defends the robot's existence by declaring, life is not a malfunction. Using practical effects like an air blower off camera or a piece of string to flip on screen props, the visuals look great and hold up amazingly well, all framed by traditional editing and cinematography and a well paced story. Ending with a tired and typical big military showdown scene, this 98 minute feature is fun, disposable entertainment that all kids should love, as I did myself when I first saw this movie many years ago. While this film may not demand multiple viewings, its 1988 sequel is also enjoyable, and there's even talk of a possible reboot. Short Circuit has quirky characters with sci fi. I fluff. Now let's bring in the rate to display my score. A 6. I've always liked this movie, but from a more critical perspective, it's hardly anything special. Subpar performances with uninspired plot developments, but the goofy robot manages to make the whole thing worth seeing. I thought it was good. 